if you want to take part in the reconciliation of all things, you have to name it. Sometimes the problem is, especially when it comes to things like abuse and betrayal, and especially if it's something like abuse or betrayal by somebody close to you or a family member, is we gloss over how hellish and awful it was. Correct? We're like, well, you know, it was unfair. We just don't really talk about it. You will only move to a place of healing and wholeness when you are ready to say what it actually was. It was awful. It was evil. It was degrading. It was violating. And it may be somebody you love, somebody you respected, somebody you look up to, but it only begins when you're ruthlessly honest about just how horrible it was. That's where the healing starts. Families are always systems. Families always have a bunch of rules about how things are operated, but here's the problem with families. No one ever writes the rules down, correct? So all we know is there's a bunch of rules here about what we can say and what we can't say, what's permissible, what's not, but no one ever wrote down how the thing works. As a kid, you basically just pick it up, right? You just sort of intuitively pick it up. This is what you do, this is what you don't do. The problem when you take steps towards health is you are fundamentally disrupting the system. And what that always leads to is you will probably have to have boundaries. And what's really hard sometimes for people is to hold in one hand, these are my family, this is my tribe, I love them, but there are also toxic, destructive things here that I can't participate in. But what will happen is to be healthy, it will force you to hold both of these. I love these people, these are my family, but if I stay more than three hours at Thanksgiving, something's gonna get broken. <laughs> but it is the path to health, and that's how it works.